Hello. Hello. Names. I know. I love two kids names. and a coupon. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, with social distancing, children's educational programming is more important than ever. Could you yeah. share a little bit about the inspiration for the show and some of the lessons that are included? Well, I think that, um, you know, the growth mindset is the overarching curriculum uh, of the show. And I think modeling resilience and not being able to being afraid to make a mistake really could not be more important in these times where, you know, kids are facing a lot of challenges and schooling remotely. So we feel like the, the message of Gabby, the resilience, the grit, the determination to keep going, keep trying is more important now than ever. Um, we also have couched in, you know, the kindergarten readiness, of course, with the color shapes, but also the socio-emotional of flexible thinking and empathy and just having a sense of humor in it. Because honestly, I feel like the thing as a, a mom through this, Jen and I are always laughing and joking. It's like, that's the, that's the, the main thing that gets us through is just finding the humor and everything. And, you know, being able to laugh at yourself and laugh at the situation and just play with it and have the, you know, making yeah. the best of it. Lemons out of lemonade. One thing Gabby, we're very conscious that Gabby never says is the word perfect because nothing is ever perfect. And it's really about taking what you have and making the best of it and finding the humor in it. Um, so we're, we, we definitely try to model that in every single episode. Um, I really love how this show allows the kids to step into the dollhouse and have imaginative adventures. Um, can you talk a little bit about creating the show from the kids perspective? Sure. Um, you know, having created kids TV for over 20 years, you know, we kind of are really tuned into what sparks kids and the literalness and um, what excites them and having six kids between us. <laughs> You know, we know a lot and, and being kids ourselves once of just kind of pulling from what we loved as kids to what modern day kids love of with the unboxing and then our love of dollhouses and miniatures and kind of rolling it into all a story and narrative with characters that kids can connect to. Um, we love the idea of the live action because, you know, Gabby and having her start as a real kid it sort of represents that fantasy play. And when I was little, I loved my dollhouse and I spent umpteen hours creating these imaginary worlds. And the idea that you can create this world and then be able to jump into it and the characters that you've created in your mind are really alive. And that was one of the things that was really important to us was to keep that live action piece. And this is DreamWorks' first uh, live action hybrid animation show. And, um, you know, I think at the beginning, Tracy, and I, that was something we felt really strongly we wanted to hang on to was that live action piece because it really represented that real kid, real kid jumping into the fantasy of a world of their own creation. Yeah, it's the ultimate and wish fulfillment. Many parents, especially those of young children, um, have concerns about finding the right type of TV programming for their kids. Um, what advice do you have for those parents, other than watch Gabby's Dollhouse, of course? <laughs> um, common Sense Media. I would say every parent, if you don't know Common Sense Media, you should check it out. They rate everything um, based on you know appropriateness, educational value, um, just things that parent, you know, is it too scary for my kid? Is it age appropriate? Um, I would say that is one of the best resources as a parent of finding the right programming for your kid, but also co-viewing when you yes. can. Co-viewing is such a wonderful part and that's kind of nice about COVID. I think we're, we're all doing that a lot lately because it's just one brings up wonderful opportunities of teaching moments and laughing together and bonding and just talking about situations for sure. Thank you.